Hello everyone, this is Stevio here. Right now, we are headed to the shop. We purchased a few items to help us keep up with Team 3. Team 3 is... Let's just say they're either st steadily gaining on us or passing us, whatever you want to call it. So, we'll just call it passing us. So, we bought two more cotton harvesters. We got a ton of cotton fields, and we need to harvest them. So, if you don't know, so I know in northern Wisconsin, cotton is not a normal crop they grow up there, if it's ever a crop they grow up there. The only issue is, whatever, the map author basically forced us to not be able to plant anything but cotton. Cotton is the only crop that yields high enough for it base high enough for normal cotton yield on a normal giant's map and the rest of the yields like the soybeans off to the side of us it's down by at least a half or even more than that so you don't get the yield which means you're not getting the amount of crop so on this map the cash crop is cotton so we are going hard down on cotton so we're over here picking up our last cotton harvester I am really liking these shaders. I mean, just look at that chrome. It just pops. So nice. This truck looks to me so nice with this front grill and the chrome. You can really see the bends in the chrome. To me, this shader brings a new realism into this game. That's our new DB120 over there too. So we bought another planter. We're trying to be able to, in one day, turn over all of our fields in cotton. So that is our goal. So we're trying to get the amount of equipment and all that to be able to do it. Looks like everything's on, so let's head back to the farmyard and I just realized that I did my normal you guys are probably yelling at me down there I didn't shut that off always do that for whatever reason so we got case harvesters so case is the only harvester we have in this uh, tournament so we don't have any John Deere so we're going all in case. There's no problem with case in my book. It'll make... Ooh! Took that a little bit sharp. I did a wheel stand there for you. It was all on purpose. Don't worry about it. So we are headed back. So we... Our farmyard is basically far away from everything. The shop, most of the cell points, so that's why we bought this trailer because it takes forever there's Austin Farmer he has helped me out Austin Farmer has been putting a ton of hours into this tournament so if we end up pulling off this win it's basically he's my MVP so Wooly was putting in some good hours too. He hasn't been on too much recently, but he put in a lot of hours in the beginning. Austin Farmer, I think he said he was here until four in the afternoon yesterday, so he puts in some serious hours. So, big thanks. A shout out goes to him. 
check out his channel if you want. Uh, pull in right here. I think we'll just put this. I think I want to run two harvesters in the same field. Keep that rotating. So we have a harvester currently leaving a gap in the field. Good job, worker there. So we will. And I will shut this off. Beautiful looking truck. Jump up here. We'll try not to knock this thing off like the gleaner we had. Watch it as it unfolds out. So I never drove one of these or really looked closely to one of these cotton pickers in real life. We'll do a little in cab look. Cause I, to be honest, I didn't I've never done a lot of first person harvesting with a cotton picker. Good looking cotton picker. You could tell they don't put the money they do on the harvester because of the controls but maybe that's just because most cotton farmers have a few cotton harvesters so they want a uh, lower cost I'm talking compared to like a 9240 grain combine case grain combine or even a 9250 but I don't I don't know if this is a new model year or not not too knowledgeable so if you know a lot about cotton pickers even case cotton module pickers let me know some details I'm just curious so we are cruising around along here at six mile an hour the best thing about these cotton harvesters are they just go and go and go. No issues. You don't have to uh, unload their grain tank. So, which, to be honest, with the amount of fields we have, only two of us working and everything, that's what we need because we can't just, we can't be everywhere. We can't keep up. There's a lot of managing that goes into a farm this size. So, pull up the map here quickly. So, we own, we run field 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 19, 20, and 17. So, the other big cotton team that has harvesters running right now, so they run 41, 44, 43. 38 and 39 so I believe we actually have more of a land footprint you can see Owen Jones is running tractor for them so they have a lot of workers that help them out no issue that's not against the rules or anything so no issue there if they win they win fairly Looks like we missed a spot around this that we didn't uh, plow, but oh well. We missed a fertilize area. So we're going to clean this up. I just love the look of in cab or first person with these shaders. It just so, pops so much. So just so you're aware before you put these shaders on a little disclaimer you want to use them is it does drop your FPS so I'm running about 52 to 54 so I was running a solid 60 prior to this so I have a 1080 Ti so not 
not the top end by any means, but you know, not terrible by any means either. Looks like I drop down to 40 sometimes too, so uh, once in a while, we uh, yesterday we ended up taking some of the mods out because they were affecting our FPS and lag, and it was getting pretty bad. So the type where you do like truck launches, you're driving along, you stop, you launch the truck into the neighbor's field. So it really kills the realism of the game. So we try to prevent that as much as possible. So some of that is just given because of server. Uh, when more people get on there, more it's more uh, pull from the server that just can't handle it. This server they make is actually pretty good to be honest. So right now I have no lag whatsoever. Uh, so which is nice. Of course when we get 12, 14 people on here there's lag but that's just given. There's so much workers, uh, people doing stuff around there and the server just can't keep up with that load which I uh, which is good but some of the multiplayers I played on though this is like top end to be honest so not for sure what Austin Farmer because them fields are planted over there what he's going to be doing so, let's see knows something I don't. Pretty sure them fields are planted. I think the field we have to plant is field five. So we made multiple purchases on our farm. So that DB120 is one, two of these harvesters. So. We basically have to keep up with field or team three and to do that we definitely have to put in the hours and have the equipment to turn over our fields the only thing I really don't like about this harvester which is kind of surprised me this is a is the mirrors don't work Having workable mirrors is like, maybe it's the settings I have? I need to double check that because this is like the second piece of equipment. So you can change your mirror settings and options into your game, so. I need to make sure that's set correctly. Because I really need my mirrors to, uh, help me know that I'm doing not lead up in a gap you know even have the combine on and running or the head down it's really hard your depth perception isn't the best when you're working off a screen than it is in real life so go around here This is kind of an odd shape feel, but some of it's nice and helper friendly. But a little bit of odd. So I didn't really extend or decrease this field at all when I made my uh, farmyard over there, which is right to the right of us right now. Uh, I just, what was already placed there. So it looks like the map author thought about putting a farm there but never got to it so it was if you look at the big map it shows we well, can't see it now but it shows there was buildings there but when you go there in person there wasn't buildings so so it was fairly flat a little bit I had to do a, a little bit of terraforming so I think with these type of shaders I can even do better 
farm build because I can really see the shadows with these shaders so which helped really need to look for the shadows to find if stuff will work if stuff is different heights and everything so haven't tried it yet but I'm sure not I will in the near future so so I usually do a new farm build every time I start a new series I just like personalizing the map no matter if there is good farms on it or not I just want to personalize my own make it feel like mine so What are we doing? Have we not been harvesting that whole time? Oh. We are full. Duh. I'm surprised there isn't a beeper. So, I don't want this bale in the way on the turn edges here. So that, otherwise the uh, Baylor will get caught up on it, so I'm going to place it over here on the side. I think that would be a better placement. There we go. Oh, now I can feel it. See if I can see anything. Oh, yep. This is kind of cool. I've never actually seen this. There we go. I would close it down. Closing up the gate. There we go. I believe it was Gorilla Man just came on. I don't know why I just shut it off. There we go. I, I just want to get around because this is not completely straight, this edge along the trees, so. Looks like it's pretty. There's some pretty good terrain difference. Like this combine just doesn't have enough horsepower to get over these ridges. Slows it down a little bit. Like this tree right here, I mean, them branches are like in our field. That's, we got to clean up the edge of our field, so we got a little too much overgrowth going on to the side. I think we'd be alright if we hired out a worker, let him go. We got plenty of tasks to do. We need a fertilize here, so we'll run this fertilizer spreader. Give the neighbor a little help in fertilizer too, because we are a nice guy. Really, I don't think I can fertilize the neighbor's field because I don't own it. But so we're running this fertilizer spreader, man, I think this truck looks so much better with these new shaders. I mean obviously it's dirty but we are running at such a high pace and speed that we can't even keep track of our dirty trucks so
So we are going to take our new rig out. So look at this beauty. Looks so much better in the shaders. So this is a Roll Track Edition 500 with a big Vodderstadt drill. Get him. I believe we need to fill up a little bit. Looks like we probably only need to fill up with the seed. Fill up with the seed. We got a few other people on the server right now. Still not experiencing any of the lag like we were the other time. So. Love the look of that quad track or roll track edition case. Now, case, their quad tracks can actually go at a pretty high rate of speed. Forget the reason for that, but they, they make some of the faster tracked tractors out there, so. Headed down to, I believe, we need to plant field five. We'll get a good outside perimeter planted so we could set off our giant's workers and they won't be too crazy. Run off the map. So this was, I don't know if this was a wise purchase or not, but it was almost one million dollar Tool. So, with the tractor, the planter, and all. So, we basically, I want to be able to turn all our fields around in one day if possible. So, that's what we have to do to be able to keep up with Team 3. Don't know if it's, if they're beatable. Gorilla Man is putting in a lot of hours up there, so... We will see. Love how this drill folds out. Folds out so realistic. Maybe a little bit faster. One side folds first. Very realistic. So we will start making a perimeter. So over here to the left side, that's what we call our cotton harvester catcher or tractor catcher. We are running along here. It's kind of, this is really cool, I think. One, with these shaders, and two, I don't get to run this big equipment every day. I like to start out all my series kind of small and then work up to this size of equipment. So to me, this is cool. I don't get to drive this every day, so I definitely want to take advantage. We got all this money. We got 9.3. I believe we were overtooken by field or I'm at team three. So we will time lapse this. So enjoy.
farm here we got farmer Austin helping us out so Austin farmer he's helping us clean off the sprayer it's funny how the sprayer looks with the guy looks like he's holding it from his hip hip firing there so we are getting another planter running here so we got three planters now help me get this thing all nice and cleaned up we gotta move this fertilizer spreader here not shut it off and move it Looks like I'm going to take this over to the pressure washer too and we'll clean it up. We've been running so hard here trying to be efficient that we're not cleaning our vehicles, but I didn't shut it off. There we go. So I'll get this planter running here. go we'll get him over here starting this field. We have run three different planters so far. Try to run this as straight as possible. So we need to get a little bit farther over. We are not running this as straight as possible. So we are back here. We will probably cut it off here. We got a lot of bales to haul off this field. We got a lot of planting to redo and we got a lot of harvesting. We got all our fields running. And we got most of our equipment running when we can run them. So we may not win this tournament, but we're going to put in uh, heck of an effort to win it so thank you for watching thank you for supporting our team here and i will see you later at the tournament